Right. It's like uh, I just put some on my Twitter, and y'all know I don't update my Twitter, man. But I was like, <laughs> I said, get out Tiger Woods' dick. That's another they thing we gonna talk about. Why? Yeah, they trying to lynch him in the media, and people don't even know what happened. But they already speculate in it. <laughs> Cheating on ask, his wife. Can I ask, can I ask you something slowly. early in your career, yeah. and maybe this might come back to you later? Like you'll think about it. Like, what do you feel about that whole build you up to just put you down? Like it's everybody happening. wants everybody to win, but then. Yeah. As soon as it becomes a trending topic or something, everybody's on it. Like, yeah. who cares? Like, who? Tiger Woods ain't bothering nobody. He's just been doing good for us. Exactly. Right. But and now, it, okay, from from that's absolutely true. And I'm it's and this Tiger Woods incident is the most recent obvious thing because right. he was a squeaky clean. Everybody First loved incident. him. White people love him. How they waiting to squeeze? That's why I don't keep nobody exactly. that close. Like, stay away from me, everybody. So so I think. Um, it's absolutely true. They build you up and just wait for you to slip. But I think the way to counteract that is to never try to come off perfect and to never try to come off squeaky clean. And right. to, you know, and do never, things do it, things on un, won't look, on purpose on purpose. Yeah, you know, yeah. just just let people know you're human. So when it, when the mistakes happen, there's nothing they can say. Like, it's crazy that a car accident. I'm glad Cole brought that up. It's crazy that a car accident got this much news. Tiger Woods gets it. For all the people that don't watch the news like I do, it's just really, really big news. Tiger Woods got into a car accident and then now all of a sudden they speculated it into him cheating on his wife. He was drinking while he was driving. He was going to see a jump off. Yeah. They took it all over the place. Shorty ran outside with the club. Shorty ran, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they took it all over the place. But, but that's real life. Yeah, exactly. Like it probably... Like some of that stuff is, it might be true. Like it was definitely a shady. The way they reported, it, it sounded like a shady situation. Like he ran into a hydrant right in front of his crib. But at the end of the day, who? Like this is this man's life. You know what right. I'm saying? Like did he kill somebody? Like you know, yeah. did he rape somebody? <laughs> like OJ? Did he, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> they said the neighbor. The neighbor had said he heard. He, I snitched he neighbor. <laughs> exactly. The neighbor said. The neighbor said. Oh, you ruined you ruined Thanksgiving. That's, that's, <laughs> oh, that's what that's he was saying to the wife. You ruined Thanksgiving. Wow. So what? Stop being right. nosy. And he oh. probably just stepped on the um the accelerator by accident. Yeah. And it's all just <laughs> nah, the world just came down on him. The club. That's what happened. They be trying to lynch people. That's all I'm trying to say. He's trying to lynch people. And that's what that's we glad that we got good people in music right now. That's not trying to do. You know, there's a rumor going around. There's a rumor going around that the old heads in hip hop is not trying to pass the torch. To the new, to the new youngins. A lot of people in the hip hop is saying that uh, you go to the old heads. You got your, you got your EPKs. You got your demo. You got your, your manager that's talking good money. But they like, they don't want to let go of that name. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That the old heads had. And yeah. I'm not leaving. It, I'm not shouting out any old heads. Y'all know who y'all are in the industry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How do you feel about that, man? My real honest opinion. I never been with it. I done heard that a lot too. I done had many conversations with people where they say the same thing and I might nod my head like, yeah, I feel you, but I never felt that only because since when has anybody ever gave anything up? Like Michael Jordan would Life. never pass the torch. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or X, Y, Z, like nobody's ever just handed anything yeah, you gotta over. Take it, it gotta be taken. So it ain't, if a, if a young guy is coming to the old executive or the old head who's been, had his fingerprints on the game for 20 years, ain't nothing given. So if you want his spot, he ain't going to resign and hand it. it to you because he like you. You got to go. You got to take it. You got to force him where, to where people don't even fuck with him no more. It's like, oh, you better be guy. on your toes, nigga. Yeah, especially on your <laughs> flows, nigga. What's up? You think I'm going to listen? See, I said, I said, that's what I said on that verse. Yeah. On that verse, I said the same shit. Like, ain't nothing given to you, dog. You got to earn you everything. You got to earn it all, man. And I'm just letting them know I'm coming for it. Yo. J. Cole is still in the building. That was just the Jay-Z, J. Cole, Star is Born, and it felt so good to hear you on the album, man. Yeah. How did it feel? Yeah, How did yeah, it man. feel? I don't think it still hit me yet. I don't even know if it hit me yet. You listen to yourself I, I know, on the Blueprint I, 3, and it's like... I know. Damn. I know that platinum platinum status is about to hit you in a minute. Oh, if yeah, it ain't yeah, get yeah. there yet. Yeah, yeah, he's like one point. Two oh, on all right, well, then there it is then. So you're yeah. about to get that plaque up on the wall. Yeah. So right now, the pressure is on. Everybody's waiting for a J. Cole follow-up from the come up. Everybody wants to hear. So, so what you been working on, man? Oh, um, man, working on an album, album, album. Um, you know, I got a lot of joints, but I'm still not done yet. Um, I went in with no ID. Uh, uh, shout to Nod, shout to Shot Town. Yeah, yeah, you know. Um, went in with him a few times out in L.A. We got some classics together. Uh, you know, I'm in the studio. Whenever I'm in New York, I'm in the studio. You know, so I, I mean, it's working, man. You know, that's it. That's all I can say. Any, any potential, re not release dates, but potential seasons? Yeah. Like spring, early summer, the latest, gotcha. I would say. But you know, it all depends, man. I, you never know. What's up with the performances? 
And you see, I know up. you're on tour. You've been telling me yeah, about it. Yeah, we just it. got off tour a couple weeks ago. Um, we went on a little Blueprint 3 college tour. Every 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 city, I'm assuming. Yeah. All over. Yeah, we was all over, but not in the major cities. We was in, like, smaller towns. Oh, yeah? We did some major cities. We did L.A. Um, and, you know, some other things. We did Toronto. But uh, back in, in February, Jeezy and Jay going on tour. And, you know, it ain't official official yet, but, you know, I'm supposed to be on that. Open it up. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. So. You gonna do a little mama? Just come out and send your birds. <laughs> yeah. Your mama put on your luggage. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yo, we saw the we saw the YouTube clip of you and you and Wale. Uh, y'all was freestyling. Oh, in, what was it? in the Denny's. <laughs> Where was y'all coming from? What was that about? We were in um, Illinois. We was in Champaign, Illinois. Champaign. Okay, yeah, that's what's and up. And that was and that was really just the tour was over and we was just that was like one of the funnest nights. So we was just really like soaking it up. Like that was after way after the show, four in the morning. We was all drunk, and it was just like you know, we, we realized we realized we ain't really had that much time left on the tour. So we was all just really clowning around. That's what's up, yo. The yeah. white dude, the white dude that was behind the counter was cracking up laughing. Oh, it was the lady, funny. the lady. Yeah, I mean the lady. The lady yeah. yeah. No, she was yo. She was the funniest lady. Like you can't <laughs> tell because we didn't get it all on tape. She was talking shit. Like she was joking <laughs> with us and talking shit. Like, ah, fuck you up. <laughs> but you know, just really just clowning. So she was fun, man. Shout out to the lady at Denny's. I wish I remember her name. But yeah, she was cool. Hey, you yeah, on the air. Up. Who's this? Hey, what's up, man? It's Kimbo. I'm calling from New Orleans. Kimbo, what's up from New Orleans? What it do? What Kimbo, it do? what up, man? Hey, what's up, Cole, man? I tried to get up there for the Providence show, man. I got there a little too late, though. Yeah, it's cool, man. It's my, uh, it's my Twitter homeboy right here, man. You know, oh, that's he, what's up. He be hitting me up on Twitter from, from early on. He's a fan, man. I appreciate it, dog. Yeah, man, really appreciate it too, Cole. Uh, like I said, I'm from the South as well, so, you know, we always got that spinoff, you know, that Southern rappers, you know, we can't really spit. We always come in, you know, with the corny, no punchline, no lyrical content. Exactly. So, big ups first and foremost to Jay. Jay Thank for you, that. Man. Um, appreciate it. But, you know, I'm a, uh, I am know you were a communications major while you were at St. John's. <laughs> and one of my questions for you, Cole, is, because um, we, we have a few similarities, um, I'm a communications major as well, and I've gotten an internship, and I'm trying to keep my GPA up as well because I'm magna cum laude, uh, but I'm also okay. pursuing, you know, my. And I wanted to know how did you balance the two while you were in college? Because I know you graduated. Uh, I want to I stay summa cum laude or magna cum laude yeah. uh, from St. John's, but uh, also making moves on the side. So I wanted to know how did you balance those two? You know, yeah. good question, academics good question, as far good as building your team up. Yeah, that's a good question. Everything basically pretty much happened naturally, man. It's like my first two years of school, music was kind of on the back burner. I was still doing beats. I was still writing raps, but the, it wasn't frequent. I might have did like two songs a year my freshman and sophomore year, um, but I was still doing it. It's all about focus, man, because my junior year I focused up and I realized what I was up here for. And then I was still in the school, but... Man, when you in school, you got when you in college, you got a lot of free time, man. Like when you really think about it. <laughs> True story. Like, yo, if we had the free time. True story. And we had in school right now. Man, yo, life would be incredible. So I say it's just about utilizing time and realizing what's important. Is it partying and socializing? Um, is it is it the females or is it you know perfecting your craft, whatever your craft might be? Of course, you can balance it all out. But, um, you know, just make sure it's high on your priority list if you're serious about Cole, it. Cole, yo, Story. thanks for coming, man. We appreciate you coming out. Thank you, man. We appreciate thanks you. You got to come back. You got to come back yeah, for a follow-up. What's, yeah. what's up? What's up, man? All the way out in the Bronx. They got me in the Bronx, man. Yo, what's in wrong the Bronx? Bronx? Yo, this is the best ain't, borough. Ain't nothing wrong with the Bronx, but when you, when you live like, in Queens... There's no reason to ever come to no, the really, <laughs> The funny thing is, a lot of people from other boroughs always say that there's nothing in the Bronx for me to... Hey. Unless you got family. I just travel. No, 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 I just travel. I just travel from... Where was I just at? In Brooklyn, near Coney Island, just now, just to get back the here. That's crazy. And it was, it was traffic, but it normally supposed to take 30 minutes, but it was traffic. Right. So, this part of the Bronx is easy from Queens and Brooklyn. No, this is easy. If you this go over the White Stone Bridge, this right here. You go over the White Stone Bridge. We're on, we on, we on the upside, so yeah. we right off the highway. So, exactly. But I understand what you're saying. A lot of people think they hit a Bronx house. Yeah, so they, they think it's the way out the way. So, you get out here, but we had Karis One in here. We had a bunch of yeah. superstars, Cool Herc and all of them up here. You know, it's a place to be. No, no, no. We appreciate you. It's a great spot, man. No, I'm just really jossing these guys. It's lucky all the way up in the Bronx. Joking, man. Look, at least you got parking up up down in Manhattan. You just got told. You came down there, you're gone. $200 later. We already asked a lot from Cole. We already asked a lot for him to get all the way from where he was to over here. We appreciate it, man. Nah, Thanks, so lot, Thanks for having me, dog. Yo, word up. Mic check, one, two, one, two, one, two. Mic check, one, two, one, two, one, two. Mic check, one, two, what is this? The, the, the WI Music.